Saw dudes. Builds can come from anywhere, and this one came from a unique drop that was hidden by the filter. The black cane is an item I have never seen before despite it coming out in Metamorph. The biggest question with this is, what is Phantasmal Might? Phantasmal Might is a buff that grants flat physical damage to spells per level of Phantasm, per Phantasm. This scales multiplicatively. This is because the amount of Phantasms you can have increases with Phantasm level. So what happens if you get a level 35 Phantasm from a Shaco? Well, this happens. 700 to 1100 added physical damage to spells. For reference, a Disintegrator with all Elder items only gives 470 to 660, and that's with multiple downsides. This gave me a good chance to try out the new gem, Tornado of Elemental Turbulence. This variant has built an elemental conversion, a higher tornado limit, but no projectile absorbing mechanic. It is also prismatic, so we can use combat focus to make it so it's always fire. This also means we can use double and triple crit multi jewels to cheaply scale damage. I also decided to use the new Circle of Ambition rings. This lets us get rings with both Herald of Ash and Herald of Purity buff effect. There is also enough room to fit Aspect of the Spider in. With the recent changes, there is now a level 30 variant, which gives an extra stack of webs. Might as well go all the way. With Fenomous Spinnerets, we get extra stack of webs, plus an ES on hit effect. There are some fairly technical parts of this build, so let's go into some details. Summon Phantasm is a support gem that grants supported skills a chance to summon a Phantasm on kill or whenever it hits a rare or unique enemy. The most feasible way to generate Phantasms is to use the on-hit effect. Adding call to the gem wouldn't hurt. I have tested many gems and the best one by far is a unlinked ball lightning of static. This gem hits many times, has multiple charges, and a short cast time. Dropping two or three on any rare would easily get up max stacks. Phantasms also have life and die rather quickly. So a blessed rebirth from a cluster helps with upkeep. As for Shakos, level 32 is the breakpoint. Under 32 is significantly worse, but the difference between 32 and 35 is not that much. The other gem on the Shako doesn't matter, but some might brick how ball lightning of static works. Tornado of Elemental Turbulence is a bit weird. It has a fixed hit rate on the spell, so cast speed doesn't scale anything, but you still want some, so it's more comfortable. The three copies with the fast hit rate makes any on hit effects very powerful. Tornadoes seek enemies on their own, and it's mostly competent. Sometimes they go off on their own and not target the enemy right in front of you. Overall, the damage is pretty good, but the way I set it up has a lot of buff upkeep. We have to use Ball Lightning for Phantasms, which isn't that hard, you just drop it on the pack. We have an Arcanist brand with Assassin's Mark, and a we have a Conviction set up for Exposure, and I have to self-cast a Flame ability. Tornadoes also have a duration, and have to be recast every 10 seconds. It is slightly too bloated for my taste. I have not talked about Elementalist much, and that's because this is the biggest mistake of the build. The main reason I picked Elementalist is because I had one leveled already. The original plan was to use Golems and scale Golem effect, thinking the Golems could proc the Phantasms. This didn't work at all. Golems are terrible. They die all the time, they don't hit anything. The buffs aren't even that big. I did try the new Stone Golem of Safeguarding, which can take melee damage for you, but I couldn't really tell the difference. I pivoted out of golems, but still kept a bit of it. Overall, the build is very, very squishy. The deeper into memes you go, the less HP you have, and that's pretty universal for every build. It is kept alive almost entirely from the ES on hit from the spinnerets. Spider feels good as always, but it takes noticeably longer to get your max stacks up. I also noticed significantly more lag that might be related to webs. And the last problem is move speed is pretty bad. I even took points out of damage into some attack speed to make shield charge passable. It's still not enough. This is a build worse than the sum of its parts. Overall, it's a 5 out of 10 and it's entirely my own fault. This build is objectively better as a trickster or as a inquisitor, not elementalist. Golems are awful. They're just awful. The Black Cane Shaco Core could honestly be used for anything. With a good enabler of Ball of Lightning of Static, I think this could be used in most spell builds. Tornado is fine and works really well with ES on hit. I do think a trickster going CI with these boots would be really good. That's all for this one. Galvanic Aeroslayer is next. That one's a bit more flashy, if you get what I'm saying.